Matthew. I have a passion for the people in my community to come to know Jesus. If you want to uh, build friendships with people in your community, um, I would start off by asking, what are you uh, passionate about? Um, what are the things that you love doing? Uh, what are your interests? I shared with you last Sunday um, that uh, I have a passion uh, to and a love to play badminton and I uh, thought that this would draw people together. So then I started a badminton meetup. Um, another thing that I'm passionate about is um, mental health and uh, how much this has an impact on us and also on society. So I um, received a training uh, to lead a mental health and well-being uh, course called Kent Sigi Hope. And um, the course covered things like anxiety, depression, anger, perfectionism. Um, I started running a, a pilot course with some of my friends that I've connected with in my community. And um, one of the great benefits of this is that we are able to share uh, our emotional well-being in a safe peer-to-peer -peer environment. My other hope is that eventually uh, in our church that we would get the opportunity uh, to join uh, and experience uh, th this course for ourselves uh, and the benefits that it has. Um, mental health is something that is talked very little about and is often stigmatised and I have learnt uh, a course, uh, through the course, a, a quote uh, from a lady called Renee Brown and she said that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness but it's an accurate measure of our courage. So our feelings matter and if we uh, suffer too long when, you know, when people are, ask us um, how are you, uh, our natural response will be yeah I'm okay. Um, and um, you know our mental health will eventually catch up with us um, impacting not just our mind but also our physical being our bodies um, things such as stress and anxiety will manifest itself uh, through perhaps things like uh, headaches uh, chest pains uh, palpitations um, if we as a church uh, want to be more effective vessels for uh, carrying the gospel, the good news, then we need to ensure that we care for ourselves too. So if you are interested in uh, keeping up with the progress of Kinsigi Hope, feel free to email me. My email address is uh, matt, M-A-T-T, at restorecc.org.uk. Thank you. Take care. Bye.